The hugely popular show Holiday Baking Championship is back on the Food Network this month and this season a young South Florida pastry chef is in a contestant vying for the $25,000 prize. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo introduces us to this rising star who just might be on his way to sweet success. And I just took them out of the oven and they're a little golden brown, I would like to say, just a little. It was this home video that 23-year-old Miami-based pastry chef Lorenzo Delgado submitted to the Food Network for a chance to be on their hit show, Holiday Baking Championship, now in its seventh season. My mom thought it was a scam. She's like, don't reply, don't reply. You know how moms are. So I was like, no, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it. And it ended up being legit. I flew out to California and just did the show and it's been such a great experience. So I got maple pecan. Girl, God is on my side because I feel super comfortable with those ingredients. Delgado, who's an assistant pastry chef at the Faina on Miami Beach, describes the competition. It's a competition with 12 bakers this year and they throw in some crazy dessert ideas that we have to make on the spot and then we have to bake it and then we have to present it in front of the judges. Presenting it in front of celebrity judges, you see them on TV and you're just like, oh gosh. But then you see them in person, you're like, your hands start shaking and it gets super clammy, but it's such a phenomenal experience. He can't reveal if he wins or not, but we do know he's made it through the first two episodes and is back next Monday night for another Bake Off. So 23 years old and a pastry chef and on a television show, are you pinching yourself? It, it still doesn't feel real. It really doesn't. And I'm just so grateful for everything that's happened so far. I feel like I've just scratched the surface. Delgado gave us a quick and easy holiday baking idea on our Zoom call, mini macaroons filled with pumpkin spice buttercream. Anybody can do this at home. You can literally use this with peanut butter, chocolate spread, hazelnut spread. Like literally you can do this with anything. And if you guys don't feel like making macaroons, of course you guys can go and buy them at the store and cheat because trust me, I have one of those days too. See the size of that? That's what you kind of want because you want to bite into it. You want to make sure that you're getting everything, all the elements. You want to make sure you're getting that crunch, the creaminess, and everything that goes with the macaroon. This is kind of what you're looking for. You want it kind of like a thick hamburger. Like, it looks like a little colorful hamburger. <laughs> then the face. Like, you can do literally any face. You can do a sad face. You can do a happy face. Whatever you're kind of feeling in the vibe. And make sure you use edible marker. Do not use permanent marker, guys. Don't mix it up. And that's the one fun thing about pastry. You can get as creative as you want to because there's no rules. How fun is he? You can catch Lorenzo Monday night at 9 o'clock on Holiday Baking Championship on the Food Network. And you can go to our website at cbsmiami.com and we'll have that recipe for those delicious looking cookies. Phil Lorenzo, I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News.